All right, let's take things apart and see if we can use this pusher from Thingiverse. I'll put a link and credit the author down below. I should have looked that up before I started using my phone to record. Uh, this is supposed to fix the double feeding issue, replacing that tapered pusher inside. So let's see if it does. All right, this is the insides. Uh, this is cool. This all comes out as one big unit. So no need to take that apart. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be taking my Mark III apart, but here we are. I was really not liking the double feeding because unlike a lot of people, I'm really planning on keeping mine stock and I'm probably going to be firing mostly long darts just for consistency with what's already on the field and maybe just being a little bit cheap. So yeah. So that comes out pretty easy. Uh, we have, yeah, and we have our new one here that looks like a very easy install. And it looks like my printer was fairly dialed in on this particular day. I, I am going to lubricate this. So yeah, let's lubricate the teeth. In you go. Always be careful not to over tighten on all these areas that are just plastic. Let's, maybe that was as easy as that. Let's put this in here. All right. Um, I'm not even gonna put in my muzzle right yet. I'm just going to fire a couple of screws in here really quickly and see if we are double firing still. feeding. Uh, we tried it a couple times on single shot because when putting a new pusher uh, we definitely don't want to go full auto and cause problems out of the gate. So I am going to call that a success and button this thing back up. Yeah, this seems to work pretty well. Um, making sure nothing got out of the way there on me. I really should have I really should have put this in semi-auto before turning it. I probably could do it here. All right, I'm going to, I never did figure out <laughs> where this goes. I'm just going to, leave... I just can't remember. I'm just gonna leave it in there so I know where it is. And the next time I open this up, cause I might try printing a new muzzle at some point, although I kind of like the under barrel for a uh, flashlight or something. Uh, I'll just leave it in there so I know where it is. And I don't know. I said I wasn't going to rewire this, but you know what? You you really never know what will happen. But I like the performance of it, so.
All right, my friends, that seemed to do the trick. Uh, changing out this pusher, whoop, hold the right side up, changing out this pusher with this kind of tapered design, uh, this taper seemed to lead to some weird feeding issues and causing those double fires. Uh, this new pusher, just from testing quickly, seems to work a lot more solidly as far as launching one dart at a time, which is what I'd like to do on full auto. So I will link to the file below and give full credit for that. I did not design the file. Uh, I definitely nothing groundbreaking being done by me. I just wanted to show you how quick it was to put it in and if it worked to maybe kind of save you uh, wondering that if you were going to check it out. I haven't put the grip back on yet because I am going to be opening this up. My uh, Mark III fires a tiny bit to the right. So I'm going to be putting printing out some spacers and messing around with that, but I didn't have time to do that right now. And I just wanted to do a quick test of this new full auto uh, pusher. Zero double fires uh, on that clip and the clip from overhead. So I would say this pusher is a win. And I printed that pusher, uh, I printed it at 100% infill, which I don't usually do because you don't need to, but it was it was small and thin and with the amount of walls, it, it almost would have been anyway. So, um, and it seems about the same weight as this. So I'm hoping it won't do any damage to the motor or anything over time. But you know, as always when modding, time will tell. Thank you very much. Uh, definitely subscribe and like this if you want to stay tuned for me to continue to tinker on my Mark III to get it uh, absolutely perfect. You might have noticed I kept it on double A's. Uh, it's probably how I'll use it a lot of the time when I'm just planking around uh, with the kids and stuff just because I don't need that extra oomph. It's actually kind of good as the batteries are depleting a little bit to make it a little bit softer for around the house use. Anyway, thanks so much and we'll talk to you next time.